are home prices here in rochester minnesota going up have they come down what's going on in the real estate market what's been happening the last six months what's going to happen in the next six months or you know the end of the year and even into 2024 my goal with this video is to share some insights show you some market statistics and share with you what i think is going to happen between now and you know the end of 2023 and the beginning of 2024 so that if you're thinking about buying a home maybe you're thinking about selling maybe you're even thinking about investing in a rental property you can use this information to your advantage so you can make the best decision so let's get started so if you've watched any of my previous market updates you know that i love my statistics if you want to stay up to date with the current market make sure that you subscribe to this channel and let me know in the comments below what questions you might have of things that maybe i don't cover or maybe if i'm not clear enough just let me know in the comments below so the first thing i like to take a look at is supply because ultimately supply and demand dictate uh, home prices right so the first metric i look at is its sales price the median sales price is three hundred and twenty five thousand dollars, which is down about 1.5 percent from june of last year so last year it was like 330 this time around and if you look the highest that home prices went up last year was in the 333,000, you know, right around there. So we're basically catching up to where home prices were a year ago. If you look at this graph here, you see that, you know, home prices, the median side of things kind of went down, you know, because of rates and, you know, just fear and kind of, you know, the market not knowing what was going on per se. And now that, you know, uh, rates have kind of stabilized uh, right now they're anywhere from like six and a half percent to seven. They've come down in the, within the last year, like, uh, north of five percent but from talking to lenders and kind of the the people i follow economists things like that it looks like rates will remain in that six and a half percent uh up until the end of the year maybe low uh, you know low sixes and then next year in 2024 i've heard you know kind of both sides some people think it's gonna go lower into maybe the fours which i don't know hard to say some people think it's gonna kind of stay where it's at and then you have people saying that you know they might go higher i have a crystal ball but if i had to guess i would say that they're probably gonna be you know maybe mid fives you know 5.5 and again you know with interest rates you know just so you know you have options right so you could do i'm talking you know more about like a 30-year fixed rate but there's adjustable rate mortgages you can do a 15 year loan so your rate would be a little lower so, you know, don't let the kind of that main interest rate scare you too much. There's options to get lower rates. And that's why you need to have a good professional lender, real estate agent that can help you find those best rates. So, but the median sales price is close to where it was uh, last year. So that's a good sign. It means that, you know, people are confident in the local market. The other thing, well, we'll talk about supply, but I think home prices are in a healthy uh, position right now. Now let's move to uh, days on the market. So how quickly are homes selling here? So eight days, right? That's the median days in the market. And we've, we've come down actually from March to June. And that's pretty typical. If we look here, March, it was nine days. It kind of went down to five days and so you know when we were in the last winter you know it always kind of goes up and you know with the rates you know that that explains why it was a little higher but obviously the things are selling pretty quickly especially if you price the home well you take good care of the home you make improvements or things that are important for people buying and the home shows well is the the property is going to sell very quickly so the demand is still strong you don't have to worry about that if you're looking to buy or if you're looking to to sell a home demands good here in rochester months supply so let's look at uh how long like basically what this metric tells us is if no new homes came in the market you know how long would it take for there to be no homes available for sale because everything would sell out for june it was 1.5 months uh, which is still you know a balanced market is six so when you have six months that's a very balanced market below six which is where we are now it's a buyer's market by definition and then anything above six, which we, we were we were seeing that in like, you know, 07, 08 or nine. And, you know, that during the financial crisis, housing crisis, it was above six. But obviously we're nowhere near close that. So it's definitely not a seller's market. And as you can see, you know, we've been in that one. I guess the highest was 1.9 September of 2022. But since then, it's been kind of in the low ones. That's another metric to see. Now let's talk about supply. So new listings. So as of last month in June, we had 184 listings, which we were 16.7% down from June of 2022. 
and you can see since March, usually in the spring, that's when a lot of homes come up for sale with match day, you know, having Mayo Clinic here, that's kind of the prime time for people looking to buy and then sellers, you know, putting their homes for sale. You can see like a lot, we have a lot of inventory and then it's been kind of coming down since then. If we look here, March of 2022, there was 296 homes and the same kind of trend happens where the amount of homes, the supply of homes came down. Obviously, we're seeing less homes because if you think about it, you know, a lot of people are locked in in 3%, 4%, maybe some people have like 2% interest rate. So for them to have to now buy a house, you know, at, you know, six and a half or 6% and have to sell their home, it's, it, you know, kind of a difficult change. Uh, potentially, you know, if you have to move, you have to move. And here in Rochester, you have a lot of sellers that, you know, as much as they love to keep that low rate, maybe they have to move to a different state, different city, or for many different reasons, right? So they have to move, but the people that don't have to move, they're waiting, hoping maybe rates will come down. So that's one factor of, you know, why supply is low. Another reason is we're not building homes fast enough to catch up to the demand, which I think this will be a, a challenge for, for some time. So if you're a seller, you know, this is kind of good news for you because then, you know, there'll be more demand for your house. But if you're a seller and then you're looking to buy, then on the buy side, you know, maybe it may be a little more challenging. But I always tell my clients the home that's right for you, it's going to be for you. No one's going to take it. Even in multiple offers, you, you know, that's so you have to be patient. And, you know, the more proactive you can be in a home search, working with professional uh, people will help a lot. And uh, learning about the market by watching this video, it's all good things that you can do. So or you can be doing so that's good so new listings yeah we're we're down i foresee that you know july uh, july august september the number of new listings will kind of trend downward that's usually what happens and then you know december we have like the lowest amount of listings usually in the year and then it kind of starts going back up in the late uh winter early spring right so when people ask me hey joe when's the best time to buy a home well, it depends, right? In the spring, you're going to have more options, but you're going to have more competition. In the winter, the uh, fall winter, you'll have, you know, less options, but less competition. It depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for something very common here in Rochester, uh, I would say, you know, that uh, falls, uh, fall winter market is, is great. A lot of times, you know, if someone's looking to sell their home. They don't want it to sit very long, especially if, if the house is empty because it's winter and things can freeze. They want someone living in it. They want to sell it. That may be a good time for you. I found personally too, that's a good time for you want to invest in a property as well. You know, if someone has a property that maybe was a rental before and they're, you know, they're, they're probably going to be more motivated to sell in the winters, my point. So that's a good time. Uh, but if you're looking for something very unique, maybe some acreage, you know, maybe a, a, a town home or something, you know, is that you don't see that's not as common, then maybe waiting for that spring market might be a better uh, option. But Gotta be ready in the spring market to compete because it's uh, it's very competitive. Even in years where I think like, well, there's no way it can be very competitive because you know rates went up and or they're going up and and but still it, it's just very very competitive. You know, no matter what you do, because we're having an imbalance, strong imbalance with supply and demand. So as far as new listings, we're, you know, I expect to see uh, a short you know shortage of list of inventory. But again, you can still find your your dream home out there. So here we're going to take a look at homes for sale. So as of last month in June, we had 211 homes and we've been kind of hovering around the lower 200s. If we take a look at June of last year, we had a lot more homes for sale. And then, you know, it, it peaked in like September and then it kind of started going down. But right now we're, you know, we're quite low on as far as, you know, homes available for sale, like I've been uh, mentioning. Now let's take a look at the percentage of the original price. So this means, you know, if you listed your house for a hundred thousand, that would be an awesome price, especially if it's a decent home. Your home would sell as of last month at for a hundred thousand uh, dollars. The median percentage would be a hundred percent of the list price. And for the last several months, that's been the case. If you look at here in December, like I was talking about in December, usually it's a good time to buy because things. You know there's less competition you can get a better deal possibly if we look here it's 96 percent right so you know you could have bought that home december for uh ninety six thousand dollars you would have saved like four thousand so this is another metric that i'd like to take a look at so in conclusion whether you're looking to buy now or sell now or buy in the future or sell in the future uh, knowledge is power so knowing what's going on with the market and working with professional people like a realtor like myself i love to help you out if you have questions um, even if you're not ready to buy or sell now you just want to chat and have some questions 
if you want to talk with a lender i'm happy to provide you some great lenders that i worked with in the past who are gonna really help you out i'm happy to do that as well so learn you know be patient uh really think about what you want to do and then you you're, you should be able to accomplish your goals whether you're buying or selling or investing thank you for watching this video and let me know in the comments if you have any questions thank you